According to development experts, it will only take a strong and creative development finance institution to build a formidable industrial cluster in any emerging economy. In view of this, the Bank of Industry has been consistently throwing its weight behind formidable organizations. Tonight, we'll be bringing the Bank of Industry's intervention in Felicia Daniels Communications Limited. As a development finance institution, BOI has developed innovative financing packages for different sectors of the economy, especially sectors that can create inclusive and sustainable impact in line with the bank's vision and mission. In line with the recent introduction of the new digital television broadcast standards, significant effort is being put in place by several key players to optimize the switch from analog to digital television broadcasting. In view of this, Felicia Daniel Communications Limited was established in 2009 by Dr. Femi Adefila, who is the Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of the company, to harness the opportunities in the business of broadcasting with the support of the Bank of Industry. The company recently launched Western Spring Television, a digital television station operating on star times, equipped with state-of-the-art broadcasting equipment, giving viewers best up-to-date news, business entertainment, traffic, sports, weather, and much more. Good evening and welcome to this week's edition of BOI Impact. I am Hadiza Oyiwumi. Western Spring TV has a hyper-local reach and language with excellent presentation and reporting. At an interview with Dr. Femi Adefila, the Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of Felicia Daniel Communications Limited, he shared with us his journey from being a broadcaster to a media entrepreneur. I've always been a broadcast journalist all my life across genres. I've been a radio broadcast journalist and a television broadcast journalist. Sometime in 2009, I had this uh, conviction that it was time to venture into media entrepreneurship, to own a medium of my own. So I formed Felicia Daniel Communications Limited. My father was Daniel Adifila, my mother Felicia Adifila. So I formed the company to honor their memory. So I formed the company and um, purposely to pursue the business of mass communication as a private person. And since uh, the sector was deregulated, I've had this uh, conviction that I want to be a part, to play a part in the business within the space of broadcasting and owe a million of my own. That's how it started. I've, uh, that, I studied mass communication all my life. I work in television and radio station, and I believe that it's high time to scale up my participation within the space as an owner of a media enterprise. 2010, I started the journey for Rave 91.7 FM. I decided to start with radio because radio was the low hanging fruit for me. The path to actualizing ownership of radio is shorter and it's cheaper than that of television. So I went that route, starting a radio station I started to prospect for radio license in 2010, but to the glory of God, I had my license signed 2015. So on the 24th of November 2015, we actually went on air and we started actual broadcasting on 91.7 uh, FM platform here in Oshobo. This is Wave 91.7 FM. This is where we give you amazing music and quality, quality, quality talk. And that was how radio started. And television, you see, I did more of television in my active day of journalism than radio. So my first love in broadcasting is actually television. So that love has always been there. That when will I fulfill this big dream of owning a television of my own? And when I listen to or watch televisions like channels, AIT, I've always been encouraged to venture into the broadcast space and own my own television station too. So 2019, we actually applied for license to upscale our involvement within the industry from radio to television. Now we got licensed 2020. So we started uh, this venture 
to have a television station that will serve people across the genres, that will serve the old, the young, but we are very youth driven as a station. We are very youth driven. And, um, but what we serve is like a pot puree. That's something for everybody, a slice for you, regardless of who you are, your age, demography, and uh, you speak Yoruba, you speak English. We do general broadcasting. We have a total package and prepare a, like uh, a bouquet that you have something that you will love, regardless of your broadcast taste. As a media practitioner, Dr. Defila said production of good content is the focus of Felicia Daniel Communications Limited. In broadcasting, content is key and is king. And we will tell you that uh, broadcast is a content-driven business. What we sell within the broadcast space is content. So for us, at Ravement 1.7 FM, emphasis is on content quality. We don't compromise that. Because that's what we sell out to the people. That is what people use to identify who we are. That's what they benchmark us with. The quality of the content that we push out. You don't need to know where we are, where we are located, where we are domiciled, but you can feel us by virtue of the content that we push out on our channel. So we have won consistently the best radio station in Ocean State in 2015, to the glory of God, and by virtue of the quality content that we push out. So if you make content the focus of your enterprise as a broadcast business person, you will stay afloat. Head of station at Rave FM and WSTV, Mr. Femi Olani Kwekun, said the station has content tailored for every audience. How are you? Thank you. Well done. Thank you. At Rave Night 1.7 FM and WSTV, Western Spring Television, uh, we are youth centric. Um, uh, incidentally, our workforce is also very youth oriented. We are very young persons driving the content here. Uh, the CEO um, is the oldest staff member uh, here. Uh, we've leveraged on the creativity, the energy, the drive of young persons to drive our content. And um, we are strategic in, in our thinking that um, Nigeria's population is made up, like half of it is made up of young people. So there is a gap to be met in that regard. Oshun and the neighboring state in the southwest has lots of higher institutions. For instance, Oshun has um, the third highest number of institutions, universities in Nigeria. So uh, many of those people came from outside of Oshun state. They are used to um, programs on radio and TV from Lagos. So there's a certain standard that they expect. So we notice that there's, there is that gap that we um, came in here to, to meet. So our, our programs are youth oriented, we are youth centric, but they are crafted in such a way that every person, irrespective of your age, of your background, will find something to hold on to on Rave FM and WS TV. So whether you are old, whether you are young, there are content specifically tailored for you because our programs are delivered in contemporary flowery language that appeals to both the young and the old. Hello, good morning, Nigeria. Thank you so much for joining us on Morning Spring. <laughs> A warm welcome to the show, Spring Sport. If you look at our creative space, even our musicals, there was a time that it was the um, foreign artists that we all grew up listening to. But um, we have improved considerably in terms of musicals, in terms of movies. There's a lot of change, a lot of investment in, in, in that space. So our people now also yearn more for some of those local content. So our own local artists here, celebrities, are international figures today. And um, in broadcasting, there are local peculiarities. In as much as you want to uh, give a certain standard, you know, deliver content with some level of excellence, um, which is our own culture here, you also need to factor your own local peculiarities. So um, many of our programs are locally developed content that speak to the needs and yearnings of the people here. In fact, we do more than 60%.
some of our flagship programs are such that um, resonate more with people in the, in the, in the, in the local area. Um, the only place where we do more of foreign content is in terms of our partnerships with the BBC, with um, um, the Voice of America, and then uh, some of our other you know, partners outside of the country. And even some of those contents that we have partnerships with them are focused on local you know, issues here, and uh, maybe also in the area of musicals. But ultimately, we are focused more on our local content, and those ones sell more. We have Karakata, where we, where we talk to young people, most especially about employability, how to make themselves employable, about how to start SMEs, and we have partnerships that we give grants on that program every edition you know to small businesses so you call in and it's like a pitch i mean make a business pitch and so my name is um Sulia from um uh, from bodo from here in oshobo i sell pepper if i receive a grant of five thousand or ten thousand naira this is what and what it will do to this business. I'll be able to move from buying just one bag, one Congo, to two Congos. And then we, we compare and then we, we, we analyze and we, we, we give grants. We give grants to hundreds of people with testimonies um, that have helped them to expand their businesses and to sustain their families. And we target women, you know, uh, uh, I mean, more importantly. There are lots of other programs that we do. We are focused also on news. Our, our, our reporters have won several awards for groundbreaking, impactful news reports. River FM essentially is for Russian state, you know, as by NBC, but we extend to uh, pretty much other parts of the southwest, um, Ondo, uh, Ekiti, or your state, some part of your state, and even some parts of um, Lagos and um, Kwara state. I mean, you can follow us across different channels. So for Rave FM, you can listen to us on, on radio, uh, at Rave 91.7 FM, that's a frequency modulation band, and on Twitter at Rave 917 FM. Um, on Facebook, it's at Rave 91.7 FM. Uh, same for Instagram. Uh, Twitter is WSTVNG. On Facebook is Western Spring Television. Uh, same for Instagram, Western Spring Television. I can't do it alone. <laughs> I'm just here, I'm just one person. And I'm blessed with the best of professional that I can get in Southwest. And I chose Oshun because this is where I come from. Lagos is good. The opportunities are there. The figures are very attractive. The patronage is there. But the truth of the matter is somebody must develop the interland. We can't all be migrating to the cities and forget the interland. And of course, this is a state capital. This is a state. So I am satisfied with being in Oshun to make my own contribution to the GDP, the development of my state where I come from. For over six decades, Bank of Industry has been here. Driving Nigeria's industrial development through financial and business support services to micro enterprises, small and medium enterprises, and large enterprises across Nigeria. Leveraging on strategic partnerships, we provide equipment financing, working capital, and support to enterprises in key sectors of Nigeria's economy, including youth and women-led enterprises. Whatever your business needs, starting up, expansion, diversification, modernization, or rehabilitation, we'll be here always to support you. Bank of Industry, transforming Nigeria's industrial sector. Technical operator of Rave FM and WSTV, Mr. Ifan Ichiku Tempest, took us on a tour of the facilities at the television broadcasting station. This is WSTV, Western Spring Television. We are here live. You are welcome to this station, a station that says it as it is. Come in, please, and see what it looks like being with us. 
this is the reception point where we meet our visitors before the production of the day. Hello, how are you? How's today? And this is the newsroom with our production crew getting news ready on point. This is the elaborate room where we have everything ready. From here, we move to the PCR, where everything, the news, the media, the, everything is being cooked up. This is the PCR, the production control room. The PCR one with the director on set. And this is PCR 2, where the next session that controls Studio 2 is being made ready. Right behind me is the sound booth. And over here is the studio. This is Studio 1, with the cameraman on set. Everything that makes it happen is cooked over here. The stage for sports, chroma key screen section. This is the main camera head that holds the teleprompter in which the anchor can gaze through whatever they want to give to the audience. Teleprompter is man, this is a black magic camera handled by the main camera personnel over here. Then over here, we have an NDI robotic 4K camera for the wide shot and taking of the environment. Over here is the stu second studio, which is Studio 2. This is where we have programs that have to do with a lot of audience in the platform, where we have some issues to be discussed Studio 2. This is the heart of the station. The MCL, the master control room. And over here is where I broadcast to every location. This is my colleague who is the head of the graphics department. Whatever is taken from Studio 1 and Studio 2 is viewed from these angles. This is the consoles for our transmission. From the on air transmission, compressors, sound compressor, play out, digitalization, and the control for Studio 1 and 2. Network interface to control every system, camera, equipment, systems, and so on. This is where everything is being handled. This is Western Spring Television. Everything we say is as it is. Dr. Adifila also spoke about the impact of VOI's intervention. I want to thank God that um, I came across the Bank of Industry. I'm a very ambitious person. I tell people I don't have Godfather, but I have God the Father behind me. And I love to dream. I dream big. So when we wanted to start the project of television, we couldn't muster more than 65% of the fund that we needed. So somehow I reached out to Bank of Industry. And I must say that um, they were very amazing. What I like much about back of industry is the ethical conduct of the staff. Humble, professional, ethical staff. They made everything I needed available to me. They were even the one calling and advising. Though they will cross the T and dot the eye of every document, but they were very helpful and supportive. A single digit that Bank of Industry offers is the only solution to stay afloat. If not, you will sink. And of course, moratorium for about a year, that is very good. They bear risk so that this nation can develop. They bear risk so that our industrial sector can witness a lift. If not for them, we couldn't have been where we are today. Because they came into our life, 
they intervene at very critical intersection where we needed that finance, we needed that support so that we could manifest this dream. And to the glory of God, it has a multiplier effect on the economy of Oshun State. We've employed more staff, directors, producers, cameramen, newscasters, young people. Because that's the opportunity to fulfill a dream within this space. And that's why we want to make it comfortable for them. Something that they can see in Lagos, they can see it here. Yeah. So back of industry, we hold it to God and we hold it to them. Because they came into our life at a critical time in the life of this project. And in the most friendly manner that made it easy for us. The finance cameras, tricasters, and other studio equipment. We did the building. But the equipment that will make it a television station, beyond just the building, the finance state. Our current staff strength is around uh, 49. And we were doing about 25 before. Now we've added more professionals on board because of the television uh, peculiarities and taste. You need cameramen, you need directors, you need shedlers, you need producers, and you need floor managers who are in charge of light and stuff like that. For television, the world is a playground. The whole world is a playground. It's satellite broadcasting. Thank God for digitization. We're on Star Times now. Go on Go TV. Go on Go DSTV. Even go international. Have partnership. That's the dream. To be big from the corners of Oshubu. Western Spring Television offers amazing music and quality talk shows in all its programming that cut across a large and heterogeneous audience craving to have the most exciting television experience like never before. The Bank of Industry is indeed Nigeria's foremost development finance institution. The bank did not hesitate to finance the expansion of Felicia Daniel Communications. Before I sign off, please be reminded that the Bank of Industry remains committed to its mission of transforming Nigeria's industrial sector by providing financial and business support services to genuine entrepreneurs in different sectors of the Nigerian economy. Till we come your way again next week, thank you for watching this week's edition of BUI Impact. I am Hadiza Oyomi. Bye for now.